Yeah, that's right. Manny Pac-Man Pac-Cow responded to Floyd Mayweather's half-ass jibber-jabber call-out. We're gonna speak just a little on that, since Flo Mo's got excited and shit. Because Floyd responded to Manny, who was actually responding to Floyd. Who was responding to Manny who was responding to Floyd. Who was responding to Pactards who were responding to Flomos who were responding to the media who were all responding to the hidden elite who are controlling all of them while giggling behind the scenes. Who keep the fans busy with retarded shit while they plan the important shit. Like keeping the human race stupid. And depopulation. Apparently fans forgot this form of sissy tag your turn's been going on for years now. These fans baffle us. They should actually study psychological manipulation before even thinking about who called who out. I mean a guy blatantly says something in front of camera, and suddenly his fans purposely forget and make believe the motherfucker never said it. There's a lot of bias bullshit going on. Anytime a fan has one guy, which is his guy, as perfect. Then there's a lot of bullshit flying. Yeah, he never did anything wrong. He never said that. Even though we got him on tape saying it. How dumb's that? But we'll get to that shit in another video. This is really just a quick holler video out of respect, since we've been out of the loop for the past 7 weeks traveling, remodeling, and taking care of business. Deals and paperwork shit. Hey. Somebody's gotta fucking do it. But we was about to drop several videos before unexpectedly getting engaged in 10 players shit. So apologies to those who had requests we said we'd drop videos on. Sometimes we miss one here and there. Okay quite fucking often. But we try and keep our word, so we're still gonna talk Rock Nation, Prospects, Thurman, Making Money, The Media, Education, Bruce Lee Martial Arts Fight News and more. Along with this Maypack call out stuff in the latest fights. We've also gotta throw a special 10 players holler out to Cigar Boxing. See we were gonna do a video response to Cigar weeks ago and got caught up in some legal paper shit. Apologies to Cigar, but we're still dropping that video. Hey, fuck that, we get to the party late half the damn time anyway. And no. We're not trying to make some special party entrance. We're just lazy. We've also gotta throw a quick holler out to 96 James, DJ Neptune, Keith Robinson, Pete Long, Brian Rodriguez, The Diesel, Jeff Cotto, Tez, and all the players in the UK. Much respect and appreciation. We're about to bring it. Holler to see money too who requested we start dropping more 365 episodes. Bring that shit back. Yeah. Jesus. You must really wanna see us fuck up some fight fans heads. And get a shitload of dislikes. Cool. So do we. Though we were warned 365 was apparently too vulgar for YouTube. You're right. Like no one else shows women with beautiful luscious breasts on YouTube. Getting them sucked by other beautiful women with beautiful luscious breasts. They act like that shit's got nothing to do with boxing. Fuck's that about. Apparently it's some kinda sin. Unless it's the animals doing it. The birds be sea life insects and every other fucking thing in nature. Then it's cool. Even the angels can come down and fuck all the earth women. Funny how the angels only pick the attractive earth women too. With beautiful luscious breasts. But don't you humans dare think of it. Humans have been getting duped for so long it ain't even funny. That's why motherfuckers give half-ass callouts because they know fans buy anything. Now there's supposed to be negotiations going on to create an unfair fight advantage for someone. It's like one basketball team claiming they'll play the other. But you better spot them 50 points and 90% of the money. Because they're the A-side. Cut the bullshit and just fucking fight. Take the financial bulk and not some fucking 90% and throw the fuck down in an even match. So how's Pac respond to this? Well. Here's what Pac says on USA. The Pac-Man. And we quote. He has reached a dead end. He has nowhere to run but to fight me. I will try my best to make this a thrilling and entertaining fight. But I doubt if he's gonna engage me in a slugfest. You all know his fighting style. Most of his previous fights, if not all, induced us to sleep. Fuck outta here with that bullshit. No way Pac's that intelligent. You gotta be the dumbest motherfucker in the world if you think the guy that talks like this. Why, why, why he don't fight, he, he don't want to fight me if that he's thinking. Said all that shit. No fucking way in hell we believe Pac said that until we see it with our own eyes. Someone doctored up some fucking words. 
They're trying to tell us the guy who talks like this. Well, uh, I can't fight anybody, you know. Um, it depends on how my promoter's uh, negotiations are. And, and Said this load of bullshit. Pack then continued on by saying, Mayweather can get the amount he wants. As early as January this year. I challenged him to a charity fight. Until now, he has not agreed to it. So money is not the issue. This fight is about legacy. This is about making the fans happy and, above all, this is for the good of boxing. You're right. This is a fucking joke right? Pack's big problems too many dumb motherfuckers speaking for him. They can't even come up with a decent fake line. Pack probably said some shit like. Yeah. I, 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 I can fit fight to him, if a he, he won one off fight. That probably doesn't sound like it makes much sense. And that's also how the fuck Pack talks. But you can betcha ass he's down to fight. It said that later when asked about Mayweather's response to Pack's words, which someone obviously read to Floyd, since we damn sure know Floyd didn't read it himself. Pack replied by saying, Just shut up and sign. We actually do believe Pack said that. Just probably with a little squeaky Pack stuttering in between. Now Sadie Sadie asked us to deliver some realistic talk on this, because she feels too many biased bullshitters are delivering views. Well. We're biased too. Good news is. We're biased towards our own minds getting it right. Couldn't give two shits about who wins. See Money requested more 365 videos. Those are the videos that had fans saying we respected no one. That's bullshit though. Apparently we pissed off too many fanboys. Truth is, we respect everyone, but was told that over and over because we treat everyone the same, and deliver what's requested. We close no blind eye to bullshit because it does nothing for us. It's just our view, and that's what's requested. But we won't make up a bunch of bullshit about how one guy's perfect. So we're gonna take a look at this video she's talking about and give our view. But we wanna make something clear to anyone looking at this video who doesn't know 10 players. If Floyd's saying some good shit we'll say. If it's stupid shit we'll say. We're not saying it has to be fact for you. We give views because we're asked for them. We don't decide to just make videos. We're asked for them. If no one asked again. We'd never do a video again. That simple. We're laying this out because we're constantly getting dumb motherfuckers who don't know us that seem to think we woke up one day and just decided to make a video to piss them off. We couldn't give two fucking shits if we pissed them off, but that's not our intention. We did that video because someone requested it, and we've been doing it this way since the beginning. It doesn't mean we won't initiate a video once in a blue moon if there's an important issue. Like if I lost my dick I'd certainly do a video telling anyone who finds it to deliver it to me. And please don't go playing with it. Unless you're an extremely attractive disease free lady. And even then. You should at least give it back and let me reattach it first. Then maybe I'll let you play with it as part of the reward. Other than that y'all all know we're way too lazy. We'd much rather sit on our ass and watch videos from our fellow channels. But these dumb motherfuckers who don't know us and seem to think we're doing videos to make them angry, actually have us considering doing a video called you're a dumb motherfucker. This way every time some dumb motherfucker says some dumb shit. We can say. Go watch our video, you're a dumb motherfucker you dumb motherfucker. It'll explain it all to you. Because you're a dumb motherfucker, so you're a dumb motherfucker's what you need to watch. You dumb motherfucker. Now we're gonna go watch this Mayweather interview and give our requested view on this one. Then look around the YTBC and see what we've missed the last several weeks. Until then, peace, and respect to everyone who left messages. Oh yeah. By the way. We wanna clear up that there's a little red box that indicates when people leave messages and comments for us, and every once in a while it glitches. We'll click the shit, and it'll say all caught up without showing us the message. And it happened again recently. We got one round of messages then missed the second. So if we missed you, no disrespect and hit us up again. And to the little red box. Fuck you. Until then, this video's just to show respect to everyone who's left messages, and we'll see you in a bit to talk about whether Floyd's got something good to say, or talking a bunch of crap. That means talking like he usually does when it comes to pack. See y'all in a bit. Until then, we're out.